one. Uh, so here's what deserves its own video. This is the Army of Darkness uh, collectible 5 inch plushes uh, by the co-op, co-op shop, and they're blind box. And uh, if you've seen any, any of my earlier videos, you may know that I do not like blind box because I'm a completist and I want them all. And when they're blind box, they tend to get harder to, to get them all. But luckily for me, thanks to one guy on eBay, I almost did. <laughs> I literally came as close as you can. So we're just going to look at it right now. And uh, first of all, here's the box for a, a full set. Uh, actually looks really nice. They're not toys. Uh, here's the, they open like this, this box, like that. Oh, and if you open the top like that, as you see, collect all 10 plush characters. Now, there's four different ashes. The rest are deadites, and then what's this? Here's your odds. One on 12, one on 12, one on nine, one on nine, one on 12, one on seven, one on seven. So the harder ones to get are the, these deadites down here, and the white shirted ash. Those are the hardest ones to get, except for this one. Now, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out what that is. That is the mini ashes with a fork. That's what that is. And that's the one I didn't get. <laughs> now, uh, somebody on um, the buy sell group that I run that's co-related to Dysor.com uh, stated that this is one out of 22. Now, I don't know if that is a guess or he just straight up knew the answer, but who knows? It's the rarest one, though. That's guaranteed. Um, now, look at the side of the box. This side, licensed by MGM. This came out in uh, last month. This is brand new. And of course, the bottom of the box. The co-op shop, there it is. Uh, not a toy, not for kids. <sighs> Collectible. So yeah, I mean, not that they're gonna hurt you or anything, obviously. Now, of course, a blind box supposed to come in these kind of boxes. You're not going to know what you're going to get, so your boxes look like this. One side has these. That's actually wicked. That's really awesome. <laughs> and the other side has these. And there's the bottom. Co-op. But hey, let's, let's stop looking at the boxes. Look at the actual plushes. Believe me, I have things to say about these plushes. Let's, let's look at the dead eights first. So... Here's just a basic date soldier. Of course, five inch, I mean, you don't, you don't need a comparison. They're five inches, so that's how big they are. <laughs> it, they're so funny, they really are. Sorry, I had to scratch my face. Um, now, it's kind of nice is they put these on here so you can hang them on the wall. You can hang them anywhere. You can put them in your Christmas tree if you want. You know what, I'm actually thinking of doing that next year. Um, for Christmas, I'm just gonna put this, I'm just gonna put these in my Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little tag. I mean, whoop. Oh, I'm having a difficulty with one hand. This has the co op on the other side. Now, I've never heard of this company beforehand, and I looked up the website, and they actually do a lot. A lot of blind boxes. And these are not even that easy to get a hold of because doing an extensive search. I found only a few websites are selling these. Not that many. There's a few. And they're only being sold by the box, like by these. You cannot get it in this. And that's one thing I also want to talk about. There was two websites I found that solicited getting a case of 12. Because if you, I mean, you can if you put these in, I have nine. You can actually fit 12 in here, you know? But both of them, which is one is Big Bad Toy Store and the other one is Entertainment Earth, shows as temporarily out of stock. So you cannot buy this, which comes to the fact that I did get it. I got it from a seller on eBay. It makes me wonder how he did it. How he did it, I don't know. Most likely from a store, like an actual store out in the real world. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. But somebody did, and because of that, look, I got it all, and I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky because I got some people asking me if I want to keep on buying them so I can f eventually get, you know, Mr. You know, Mr. Little Ashes here, Little Little Ashes with the fork, and then just sell the rest. 
like not interested in doing that. I'm literally just gonna be patient and just hope it pops up on eBay because I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, here's here's this dead eye. Here's the biggest one. This is uh it's the flying dead eye. Played by Nadine Gray can. They care. They're actually kinda nicely made, I like. I actually kinda really like them. The face is very well done, looks just just like it. <laughs> look look at its claws. They're they're cute. I mean I mean I know it's not a toy and it's not for kids, but what's gonna happen if a kid gets a hold of this and starts playing with it? It's not the end of the world. Uh here's Evil Ash. As a plush, I mean this is as good as you're gonna get, most likely. They did a good job on the helmet. Here's his his little felt sword. It's like felt basically. It's just crap. It's crap. You can't expect much out of um a little plushes. <laughs> there, there's oh look at that, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm laughing, I just can't help but laugh because it's just they're cute and they're funny. Um this one, this one, I don't understand this one. This is the only one that has a nose like this. Why? Is there something, is there a reason why the she-bitch has a bumpy nose and the other ones all have like drawn on noses? I don't understand. I re literally, really don't understand. But anyway, she-bitch. And last that I is, of course, wouldn't be complete without this one. I would say they also did a good job on it. Like I said, you, you can only do so much. They're little plushes. Yeah. All right, let's get on to Ash. So let's, here's your standard boomstick and chainsaw Ash. He's got his boomstick here, his chainsaw there. A little bit better quality than Evil Ash's sword. Here's his, this little round thing is his holster. He's giving us some attitude. And his hair is lighter, much lighter. I, one of my friends made a comment on that. It's like, what, they couldn't get his hair right? So. But then you also have this version. He's all bloodied up. When does that happen? I mean, he de technically does, but he's all wet as fuck in the pit. Oh, yeah, you know what? Look, they, put, they got his watch. <laughs> and it's on every single one, too. Every single Ash one has the watch. That's... I love that. <laughs> uh, so funny, of course. Giving his face and this face on this two are different. See? All right, surprise, surprise, S Smart Ash. They even got the little name tag. Uh, they didn't, couldn't get the writing on it. Look at his middle hand. Of course, the watch. He looks less happy in this one. And his hair is different, obviously, because it's supposed to be slicked back. But I don't know. It looks there. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's a little. <laughs> it wasn't showing earlier. Uh, and the last one is the most interesting one of the bunch. It's white shirt Ash. Look at that. When he's in the castle and he's being fed grapes and stuff. And he's concerned. And his expression looks quite concerned in this one. So, that's interesting. Oh, and there's not much detail in this one. He's just like a white shirt. <laughs> so, that was interesting. Now, let's, let's just pull white shirt Ash right here. Let's, let's get to the topic of... Their choices. Now, obviously, we've noticed that they've only decided to take Ash and Duddites. Why did they decide to not do the other human characters like Sheila, Arthur, Henry the Red, you know, Blacksmith, Goldtooth? You know, they could have, they could even just put a, a generic archer or soldier. You know, that that would have been nice. I think the reason why they didn't is because the reason why. It, some, sometimes it's difficult to get even Ash action figures. You so, for Bruce Campbell has to okay the likeness before a lot of the action figures, a lot of any art or anything that's officially licensed comes out that's supposed to sort of resemble him. So I'm thinking maybe that's the reason. Uh, they weren't ready to go ahead and contact, you know, uh, Marcus Gilbert and Richard Grove and all those people and say, hey, are you alright if we make a little micro plush of you and sell you in a blind set? I don't know. I think that's the only 
argument that I can think of. But uh, other than that, I mean, I would have liked that. I would have liked to have finally have a Sheila, you know? There's no Sheila action figures or anything. Uh, a Sheila or, or an Arthur or a Richard, the, Richard, sorry, Henry the Red, you know? But no, we couldn't get that. So that, that's disappointing. I find that to be disappointing. That's the one thing that disappoints me the most about this blind set. But, you know, it's, it's better than no blind set, I guess. And these are the first plushes that I own. There are other ones that were like solicited and supposedly made by Diamond, but I have never seen them for sale anywhere. But supposedly they came out. My friend said he saw them in the store back in 2005. So who knows? Maybe one day I'll get those too. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to give my two cents on this plush figure set. Uh, I know a lot of people were so surprised to see someone have almost the complete set already because this just came out. And that's a quite difficult thing to do when you can only buy one box at a time. Very hard. But... I managed. I managed because of eBay, so I'm lucky. And holy shit, it was really cheap, too. I paid really, really cheap for this. So I feel very, very lucky, very fortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys decide to uh, get some, uh, good luck. Good luck. Uh, I hope you get the ones you want. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later.